Years of communist rule in Poland spans from 1945 to 1989, the period of Soviet communist dominance imposed after the end of World War II over what had become the Polish People's Republic. Between this time, industrial workers would work in military factories disguised as normal factories, oftentimes having the lower level floors consist of a sewing factory, while the upper floors were secretly producing weapons for Soviet Russia. Workers were often treated poorly and a lot were long for their freedom. Communism in Poland then came to an end when Lech Wałęsa gathered working people together and formed a union called Solidarity, demanding worker rights, better working conditions, and wages. This movement would ultimately overthrow communism in Poland. This abandoned building in the Court embodies just that. What's going on guys? Today I'm exploring an abandoned a gun factory here in Poland. For, so far what I know is that on the second floor, over here was a sewing factory and on the third floor was a gun factory. Whoa. You, you can kind of see it, but the small passage outside, that's where they would test firearms. Oh my god, is that blood? It'd be crazy if it was. We're right now on the first floor, and it goes very deep. This is the entrance to the shooting range. We can't enter it right now though, unfortunately. But that's okay. Oh my god guys, look. These are ammo crates. <laughs> That's pretty rad. The reason why there was a sewing factory upstairs on the second floor was because it was used to hide the fact that they were also producing guns here. And look what kind of room we found. We found the shooting range. You stand behind there. You would fire right here. There's some bullet holes already on this wall. Alright, so the building was constructed in 1923, and in 1927, that's when production started happening. We're hanging upstairs to the next floor. Yeah, the ceilings are very low. <laughs> so, on this floor, um, this was the sewing, this was the sewing factory. Cool. We got keys here. I wonder how old they can be. Christmas decorations. Nothing too special. This floor pretty much looks like the same as the bottom floor we were just at. It's a similar structure. This room though, I wonder what it could have been for. All I see are just celebrity pictures up on this wall right here. Got Michael Jackson. This room is pretty different from the other rooms that I've explored around this hallway. Um, one of the things that I know is that this was the rinsing room. When they were producing like, you know, guns, they had to work with metal. If the metal was hot, they would come here and cool it off. Yeah, so over in this room is the break room. As you can see, there's a change of lighting. <laughs> Actually, it makes it 
more like you know a happy place to be whereas when you're out there you're working you're kind of stressed out so this kind of makes it more like in a lively mood whoa and that echo <laughs> look how short this place is i would hate to be like six feet tall when i come inside here <laughs> so basically what it says is it's asking you if you fulfilled your civic duty for the day. Really? Wow. And that's from the communist era, for, from basically, um, you know, when they were basically making weapons for... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, the workers here had to like, probably in, be in so much pressure to work. So on this board, if you had an award or a raise, the person's name would be written on there to congratulate them. So now we're heading up to the third floor. A little bit more difficult to get inside. Cause look over here. So back in the day, there'd be a guard on the other side. And uh, normal civilians weren't allowed up here. You had to get special permission because this is where they would produce the guns. And the guard would peep through this little hole right here to make sure you're that you're okay. Understand? <laughs> what? That's so different. There's the oldest bar of soap in the world. Things are starting to get a little more interesting in this building now that we're on the third floor. As you can see, this floor is a little bit more guarded up. You know, they would keep this place in secret. So, here's a curtain they would use once they close the gate so that it would hide this part of the building. Yo, you got one of the oldest Lucky Strike posters right here inside this building. One thing that's really interesting is that I've been seeing a lot of American pop culture here. Um, even though it was ruled under communism at its time, the Polish people, I guess, were greatly influenced by the West Coast and they wanted their freedom. Uh, you got posters here of like, you know, American cars, American bikes, American celebrities. It's really interesting for me to see that perspective from them. This picture is so spooky. It's like a monster coming out of a closet. What's that too? I wonder what the artist is trying to portray here. Whoa. This place still has electricity. <sighs> I've never seen this before. It's like a, a warning sign to duck down. Everything in here just feels so claustrophobic. I feel like if you work here for a long time, it actually takes effect on you. Just being so like, just having that feeling of claustrophobic around. Just in case anyone was doubting where we really were. <laughs> That's right guys, you know, we're exploring the real deal right now. Here's the poster of the, the building we're at. All right, so on this floor is still the gun factory, 
but this is pretty much all the offices that they are seeing. You probably see a huge difference between you know, the bottom floors between the, um, where the factory workers work and the military offices. Uh, the military offices are just so much cleaner. They got their own sinks in their room. Uh, there's more vibrant colors. Definitely the high ranking military officials had a better life here in the building. We found another elevator door. I think we're on the very top floor now. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it looks like it has something to do with some chemicals. The glass right here would protect the person's face. So this is a crazy room. This is where they keep live ammunition. Um, from ammo to grenades to dynamite, you name it. Everything was pretty much right here. that crack, they would actually watch you from there. Uh, All the places we find have plant, but it's dead. It's still here. Really weird. It's kind of also, look, it's tied up. Yeah, I know, but still. Why? Okay, so just made it almost to the rooftop. Found this secret floor. We're thinking that it's just a place where the military officials would come here and clean their sumps up, maybe take a shower, wash their hands. And this leads to the bathroom. I gotta get a fucking oh picture. Oh my gosh. Just the way it's set up looks amazing. I know, too. hold on. I gotta take a picture of this. This is like Urbex treasure right here. Like, there's always something inside an abandoned place that's like the needle in the haystack and or something just so unique to like the eye. And I think this is one of them. Ancient, like there's anything interesting. It's all in Polish or Russian, so I have no idea. But at least you know the blueprints, though. The blueprints look amazing. Yes. This is why I love this vine. And look at this. 
this mast. It's an old gas mast. Reminds me so much of Fallout. And just the way it's set up just looks so amazing. It's like a true urbex picture right here. Be sure to look at my Instagram because I took an amazing picture of this room and this table. Be sure to check it out, it's Step90S, or you can type in Explore with Steve on Instagram, doesn't really matter. Both works. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Alright. Oh my god. Look, ammo. Sh these still may have fucking rifles in them for all we know. Can we open them? We can try. Okay. Doesn't work out. Damn. Guys, but look over here. I think this is really unique. <laughs> Rifle templates. This is what they would use to uh, design the gun. So sick. Oh, rifle cleaners. Such an amazing find. All right, we're almost at the rooftop. Guys, I think that's a wrap. Amazing place with lots of history. I thought it was really cool and interesting to see the differences, the differences between the workers and then the military officials. And it's crazy how they would make AK-47s here and then ship it to Russia. You know, the workers had their way. They protested when communism ended. They had their freedom. And this is pretty much how the building collapsed and how it became abandoned because everyone just left the place. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got more coming. Make sure you that you follow me on social media, my Twitter, Instagram. All right, stay tuned for more, guys. Later. Mmm. -hmm.